Hello, I'm Arvish Deep. Today I'm gonna start a lecture, series of lecture regarding the history of English literature. So first, we will take the Celtus. Celtus, uh, the trace of Celtus we have up to the 55 BC, Roman conquest, that is 55 BC to 400, 407, and Anglo-Saxon period from 407 to uh, 1066. So, uh, this is the history. Start from the Calthus. Calthus were also called the Gales and uh, uh, Bython. Uh, uh, Brython, sorry. So that uh, from the um, um, Brython, the British name came into existence. Uh, they were, uh, you know, uh, helping uh, to the French uh, people in the battle uh, against the Julius Caesar so that uh, Julius Caesar uh, was uh, from the Roman so that Roman attacked uh, the uh, you know uh, England or British in revenge of that that this is the first reason and the second reason is that uh, the Roman people uh, uh, went there uh, in England only to become the rich and land uh, uh, lower and they wanted to uh, you know uh, become a rich and uh, you know uh, wanted to uh, uh, you know uh, accumulate the wealth in that uh, particular place which were called at that time uh, British so that they came into the existence so Roman people were uh, you know ruling on that Calthus, but uh, at the same time they were attacked by the people uh, who were savage, who were Pictus. So they were attacked by the Pictus, and uh, at that particular time they started to uh, construct a wall, which is called the Harrius Wall, and uh, only to save the country from the attack of the Pictus. At the same time. Uh, the time came in uh, 407 when the Pictus started attacking on the Roman people during British but uh, they were helpless they started uh, to taking the help from the three tribes uh, Anglo-Saxon, Jude and uh, Anglo-Saxon and Jude and uh, Jude uh, remained there only for the time being but Anglo-Saxon uh, become the uh, big, uh, biggest figure in the history of English literature because uh, they were they were hired by the Roman people. Uh, Roman people were hiring them to fight with the Pictus and uh, at the end uh, in eight, uh, 455 BC uh, when they were not paired so that they attracted on the Roman and Roman uh, uh, almost left the country and uh, uh, the Anglo-Saxon become the uh, you know ruler of that country so this is the history if we will see the literature portion of that particular time there were the literature also they were first early uh, you know reciting the literature to each other but after that they learn something from the Roman alphabets and they start writing the literature so we don't have any you know traces of the literature so i forget to tell you who were the you know uh, uh, king at that particular time when the roman people are the roman were roman were uh, ruling on the country uh, the name of that king was uh, uh, honorus h-o-n-o-r-i-u-s honorus so that uh, they spoke the Latin language there and before this there were uh, you know uh, no religion they were called the pagan so they started uh, separating the Christianity and the uh, Celtus Celtus starting to acquire the uh, started to acquire the Christianity so that finally Roman left from there as I have already told you and uh, uh, because uh, the Rome, Roman uh, rulers were uh, almost in a danger so that they left the country country and uh, Anglo-Saxon period started 
So Anglo-Saxon period was the Germanic speaking, uh, you know, group. It was from the German, uh, as uh, there are so many words from the German language. So that, uh, you know, uh, the British were faced uh, with an increasing, uh, you know, security problems, and uh, from the from the pactors and uh, on the east coast of the English, as I have already told you. So Roman enlisted the Anglo-Saxon and. Uh, uh, to help them from the attack of uh, Pictus. So that in um, about 442 Anglo-Saxon, uh, you know, uh, uh, mutinied uh, apparently because uh, they were not paid. They were the paid person. They were, they were working for the money and if nobody would give them money, they attacked on, 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 on them. So that they started, uh, you know, uh, remaining there and ruling the uh, Celtus. So, Roman left the place and uh, uh, Anglo-Saxon become the, uh, you know, mighty power there. If you see there, uh, the most important thing in the history of English literature uh, we have, that is uh, Caramon's Haim. Caramon's Haim, you know, it is a, a short poem, uh, a supposedly illiterate cow, um, who was, according to Bear, able to sing uh you know uh and the owner of god and the creator so uh, this is most important uh, you know uh, poem um, and other is uh, important figure uh, he's called the alt hem halem alt halem uh, 639 uh, 708 he wrote uh, important uh, poems de lord uh, virginate natus and his other important work is uh, Apostola ad Acricom. And uh, uh, after that, we have uh, some of the important poems. Uh, one is Ovid Sand and Beowulf. It is also uh, a very important poem. And uh, Door Limit and uh, the Seafarer. And uh, these are the very important, you know, poems. And um, after that, we have here Karaman's uh, Haim. Uh, you know, uh, he has also uh, translated the Bible into the history of Bible into the, uh, you know, uh, most uh, importantly, uh, you know, in a poetry. And after that, we have a sign wolf. Sign wolf, he has written. Uh, some signed poems uh, in them, the Christ, Julians, the pair of the Apostles, and Alien. An unsigned poem, some of an uh, unsigned poem he has also written. And uh, that is Phonix and the Descent into the uh, Hell, and uh, the Wanderer's Dream of the Road, and some ride, ride, uh, riddles he has also written. And Beard. Beard was also important. Uh, a poet, uh, sorry, poet, and uh, thought to be the part of five line. He wrote the five line poem, uh, which is uh, entitled The Bear's Death Song. And Alford, Alford is most important figure, and uh, in terms of uh, prose, has written uh, some of the important work that is uh, Oro, uh, Oro Senius, uh, Universal History. Uh, and geography and uh, Beotheus uh, consolations of philosophy. That was all about the Anglo-Saxon period. So uh, tomorrow I will start the Norman period which was there in England and uh, till then I say goodbye. Please subscribe to the channel and share my videos. Thank you very much for being with me.